three, two, one. I'm going to add two bay leaves. Just a very few red pepper flakes. And my wife doesn't like it too spicy, so very mild on the red pepper flakes. In a traditional roast cone pollo, you would also add saffron. I don't have saffron. Thought I did. I looked. I didn't. So I'm going to give this one last good stir. As soon as it comes to a full rolling boil, I'm going to cover it and put it in the oven to bake. Now while that's baking, I'm just going to, I got some olives here. These are Kalamata olives, but you can use any kind you like. I particularly like these olives. They're, uh, they're actually not Spanish or Greek, but and just slice them up. You can use, you know, if you have regular canned black olives, that'd be fine too. And just slice them up in a little slices. You need about a cup. And you're also going to need a cup of peas. So I just pulled this out of the oven. Been there for about an hour. Now almost done. So what I'm going to do is just these peas and these olives go right in. Just give it a good stir with the fork. We're fluffing, not really stirring hard. We're just kind of fluffing. We're kind of getting this inside there. What we're going to do is put this back in the oven just for like 15 more minutes just to finish the rice. And this will be ready to serve. Okay, guys. There we go. It's all done. And it looks pretty good. Get a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. Put a little bit on the plate here. And there it is. Uh, called uh, chicken and rice or arroz con pollo. Let's give it a quick taste. Hot. The rice is nice and creamy. The chicken is really tender. The saltiness of the olives just makes it. So there you go, guys. Arroz con pollo. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to have some dinner. Have a great night. God bless.